Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert. In this video, we're going to be looking at using Luna's brand new API Vision Channel Strip in a stem mixing and mastering scenario. Stem mixing is a method of mixing audio material based on creating groups of audio tracks and processing them separately prior to the final stereo master. This gives us a little bit more opportunity to fine tune the sound before giving it to a mastering engineer and we can control the dynamics and the EQ and even the saturation just a little bit more before it goes down the chain of command. I'm going to be using the API Vision Channel Strip for the purposes of this demo across bass, drums, guitar, synths. Let's get started and have a listen to the track and then we'll start with the bass. So we'll start off with the bass here and we're going to dial in a little bit of light compression so we'll turn the compression limit circuit on and bring up the threshold back it off ever so slightly we're going to speed up the release time so we're getting about 4 to 5 db there max and i currently have that on a 4 to 0 ratio i'm just going to bump that up to a 4 to 1 So it's basically grabbing hold of the main peaks on the overall track. Let's head over the EQ. I'm going to turn on the EQ and I'm going to go to the 560L. Reason being I get a little bit more control with the 560L. And I'm going to bring up the 125. And I'm going to bring back some of the 500. There's a little bit of click around 4K. And now we're going to head over to our drums. Same thing with our drums, we're going to go straight to the dynamics. Again, just taming the peaks with about 2 or 3 dB of gain reduction. I'm going to give this one a soft knee. I'm going to give it the new type of compression on the circuit. Let's head over to our EQ. Engage the circuit. And I'm going to tell this EQ to go before the dynamic section open up a little bit the top end I'm going to give it a boost at around 50 And now we'll head over to the guitar. So the guitar is already quite compressed, so again, just want to subtly just tame the transients and the peaks. I'm just going to drive the input a little bit. I'm going to turn the high pass circuit on with the sweep filter. Just to get rid of any unwanted rumble. And I'm going to mainly focus on the presence here, so around about 5k. And now on our synths. I'm going to go for the new circuit here with a soft knee. And I'm going to change the attack time to fast. I'm going to change to the 560L. Just a little bit more control. I'm going to bring down everything from 16. Pull 
all the way at 500. So let's take a listen now with all four channel strips engaged and then we'll do them all without the API Vision channel strip and compare and contrast the difference. So a lot more energy and a lot more dynamic control is now going on across these four tracks with just a really simple and straightforward approach using basically mostly the dynamic section and the EQ section on these ABI Vision channel strips. I also used the input section on the guitar here just to high pass with the sweep filter but other than that it's been quite a basic and straightforward approach because stem mastering is quite a light-handed thing to do and you don't want to go too heavy we're not going to be doing any crazy parallel compression but just taming all of the peaks and really just bringing out and getting rid of any final issues with eq really makes this a little bit sweeter when it's passed down the final stage of the command so i hope you found this useful and i'll see you in the next one